Hello and welcome to the capital city of Cambodia, Phnom Penh. Today we've got $20 each to spend to see how far it goes in this city for sightseeing, food and drinks. I love beer. So let's go. So first stop on today's tour is the Russian market. So we've made sure we haven't had any food or anything to drink. We are absolutely starving. Hopefully we're going to have a little mooch around have an explore and get some nice traditional Cambodian food. Two dollars to get here from the hostel, so we've got thirty-eight dollars left of the budget. Now we think this is it behind us, but I was expecting like a big multi-story kind of, I don't know what I was expecting, but this doesn't look like it's gonna be a huge market inside, so it's a little bit confusing, but yeah, let's head inside, see what we can find, eh? Whoa, so first of all, it's very warm in here. Obviously there's no air conditioning, just a few fans, and there's tons of stuff to buy, like loads of little stalls, and every time they've got one thing, there's like 40 of them stacked up. So it's jam packed full of place, like stuff to buy. It's almost a bit sensory overload. We don't have an agenda. Obviously we've only got $20 each per person. So who knows if we're gonna buy anything, but yeah, it's a crazy amount of stuff in here. So the corridors are super narrow and you've got stuff like gold statues, you've got bracelets, you've got loads of scarves. So Abby reckons this one here on culture trip called the best Khmer coffee is the one in the Russian market. So apparently we are literally and figuratively going to find the best coffee. Oh, thank you. Is it, is it, is it yeah. Uh, do you have coffee? Ah, oh, there, coffee. Ah, oh, thank you. The best Khmer coffee. Here we go. You know what? What is the difference between Cambodia and Latte? Iced coffee. Oh yeah, you get fresh milk or you got uh, condensed milk. Ah, so Cambodian Cambodian coffee with condensed milk. Okay. Uh, uh, ah, two uh, two Cambodian okay. coffee. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Thank you. And this one, the reason why we went for Cambodian is it is $1.25 as opposed to the ice latte which is $1.50. So we saved ourselves 25 cents there. But that's the cheapest coffee we've had. What's, this, what's this Starbucks that you had in um, oh, CM Reef? Like $4 or something? $5. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let's get this the best Khmer coffee. It's also really weird because where you sit is like they have stalls on the side of the corridor and they just have little plastic chairs that go around their stall so they make it right in front of you so it's quite cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, nice. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Cheers to our $1.25 coffee at the best Khmer coffee place. Exactly, it says it in the name and it says it online. Mm. Bloody hell, that's sweet. It's good. Oh, I don't think it's too sweet. It tastes like a cake. Nah, I like, I always get like sugar syrup and stuff, so I like that. The condensed milk's a lot sweeter. Oh, that's nice though. It's really nice. But it tastes like a dessert. It tastes like nutty, doesn't it? It's one of those coffees where the coffee is so strong, but it's so sweet and it like balances it each other out. Hear that? Coffee snob gas. Oh yeah, very good, very good. Oh. No, it smells a lot of dead animals. <laughs> Like that spare Bags of part. random stuff, yeah, electrical stuff. I feel like we're coming out of the main tour. Like tires. I feel like we're out of the main tour. Yeah, should we keep going? So looks are deceiving. This place is absolutely massive inside. It looks really small from the outside, doesn't it? But when yeah. we've got in, it's like a bloody maze. We're we're lost. Okay, in the morning. I'll see you. Okay. No two. We played two to get here. Three, three. Okay. We'll try one. I give you ten thousand. Thank you. You lie. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, we're in a tuk tuk to get to the Royal Palace and we paid 10,000 real to get there, so. $2.5. dollars And we're going to start some sightseeing. If you choose a tactical journey across the city in a tuk tuk, then you can see a few of the main sites like the Independence Monument without having to walk.
So we just got dropped off at the Royal Palace kind of area because it seems to be the most touristy place you can get dropped off at for like sightseeing, etc. And our tuk-tuk driver has just said that the Royal Palace is shut over lunchtime for a few hours. One, one, one o'clock. One o'clock? Open? Okay. And we think it is out of our budget. There are loads of parks and grounds and stuff you can stroll around and mooch around here. So whilst entry to the palace costs about $10, it's completely free to soak up the vibe. You've got a really good view of like, is that the actual main palace building or the building just in front of it actually? Uh, I think it's part of the complex, but I think that's the main palace. It looks really grand as well. So if you want to take some good pictures, this park outside the front, it's a very good shot for it. It's very, very beautiful. Just across from the Royal Palace Park, you've got the pagoda, which is right behind me, and then the river, which is the main kind of highlight towards the city. And everyone seems to get boat cruises along it, which is what we're gonna try and get a cheap one to do later. But you can just kind of sit or walk along here and check out what people are doing. I mean, that guy's just caught a fish, literally just from the river water. That's really cool, that's really cool. It's very fun to just walk around Asian cities, isn't it? You don't need to spend money just to enjoy the culture here. And we've got some music playing in the background from the pagoda. A vodka? Yeah. Uh, how much? One thousand. Thirds. I couldn't. Thirds not far away. Can you catch it? Yeah, can you catch it? Can you catch it? I don't know. Oh, have you put a cat on it? Oh my gosh, did you sit on the bird? No, sir. I had to make a piece of cat to it. So, I think you can also buy birds to set loose for something. Yeah, I just caught one and then... Yeah. Now what are you doing with it? Right. I think I'll say you just trod on it. Yeah, it's there. I think you can set them loose, but they don't look like they fly very well. <laughs> There's loads of them there. Anyway, we haven't eaten yet, so it's turned... <laughs> it's turned to lunchtime now, which is much better. Most backpackers don't eat until lunchtime anyway, do they? So we're now on our hunt to find some cheap local food. We're having a bit of a nightmare. I think because we're right in the centre, number one, there's no like night markets or street vendors open. Yeah, we Like tried it's the so middle hard. of the day. We can't find it anywhere and usually there's street food everywhere. And number two, all of the restaurants are like eight, nine dollars a dish, which yeah. is like absolutely crazy prices. So we're still I don't on know if the it's mission. where we're staying. We're both getting aggy with each other as well and we just need sweating. some food. Sweating. How much is it? It's not too bad, like three or four dollars a dish. But chicken and mock, Khmer curry, lok lak. Let's just go for it. Should we go in here? Gonna... At least we can get some traditional food for like reasonable price. Alright. Alright? Yeah? So although it's a little bit more expensive than we was hoping today, managed to get some traditional Cambodian food. So I've gone for the chicken lok lak, which actually looks pretty nice here, I'm not gonna lie. And Abby's gone for some stir fried basil chicken, so not sure how Cambodian it is, definitely Asian anyway. But by spending more of our budget now, it means we've got a tougher task on our hands tonight to stay within the challenge. Mm. Good. So lunch was nine dollars which means we spent just under half our budget per person and tonight we need to still get food obviously we want to get a beer and we've got an activity that we're going to attempt to try and get a really cheap one off so we've still got a long way to go but we need to get out of this heat for a couple of hours because i'm still soaking wet from sweat <laughs> I 
Okay, so we've headed to the night market area very early, like four o'clock. Night market starts at 5 p.m. because there's one activity we actually want to do in the city, and we've read online you can get it cheap if you come to the water and don't book online. And I think we might have just done that <laughs> as as I, as when we were speaking, somebody came up and approached us, and I was prepared to haggle, and he said the price that we were trying to get. <laughs> How much? Uh, five dollar free one drink. Five dollar free one drink. Yes. May, may, maybe, maybe. Yeah, so we want to do a river cruise along the river at sunset. So Let's try and get them down to four, shall, shall we? Should we try and get it even cheaper? Yeah, we need to yeah. make a plan first. Right. right, what you do is, this is our plan, right? You act annoyed with me for not paying it and I walk away. Okay. And then you start walking. It's, we, we do it, we've, took, we've got like a whole little thing we do. Let's see if we can get it any cheaper because if we can get that, that'll be a really good activity to do. So. This way? We'll go back to the guy. Let's see what we can do. Right now. Oh, it's not, not sunset not yet. Ready? Do you, do you not go in an hour, no? No, no, you do one hour around, but we start by a clock. Huh? What time does the sun set? The sun set 5.30. Depends if you want it dark or you want it sunset. I want sunset, yeah. Sunset. Yeah. Oh, is it $5? Yeah, $5 one person. $5 one person. Yeah, $10 altogether. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go back to the guy. Yeah. Let's see if we can get it cheaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see if we can get it cheaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see if we can get it cheaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see if we can get it cheaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see if not, not this one. Yeah, no, big no, one. no. The big <laughs> one. Yeah. Yes. Abby, you're an absolute spanner there, right? <laughs> we were meant to negotiate. You just like, oh yeah, I how much? Five dollars? <laughs> it was fully five dollars to start with. Oh, okay. Well, we failed, but five dollars is very cheap online. All of yeah, the ones. thank you. Online, all of the ones are like eighteen dollars, twenty dollars. So we were really not thinking that we would actually get one for five dollars. I think I think some of the ones on TripAdvisor are like two hour cruises if you know what i mean with dinner like some of dinner this is an hour but we have like the attention span of a goldfish anyway usually don't we yeah yeah so like an hour is actually good for me and we're going to pop 7-eleven now because they only do you get one free drink so gaz love his beer but i want an alcoholic drink but obviously i don't drink beer one dollar sixty uh, there you've had them before spies how much are they there? Can you tell? $1.25. Oh yeah, let's get the cheap ones. Two of them. Yeah. Okay, we just gained money. It was $1.80 for them too, so now we have $10.20 I mean, left. Yeah, we've got, ten, we've got $10 left basically. Yeah, right. Let's go, let's go. We don't want the bus to go without us. I've wanted to do this like since I've been researching this city, so I'm excited for this. Yeah. We've done all the cultural stuff already, haven't we, yesterday, we so. Oh, thank you. Do you like beer? Yeah, I love beer. One for me, one for you. Yeah, this one. Two beer. Akun. Okay, Akun. Thank, Thank you. you. Do you like beer? I love beer. <laughs> Wait, okay. Wait the boat. Here's the boat, guys. Here's the boat. No, it's not the boat. Just for context, the one next to us has got a fridge and a bar upstairs. The one after that has got life jackets and like vibey lights and music. Ours, we managed to, we got told to get our free drink from a bucket. And we've got plastic chairs. And plastic chairs, but we don't mind, we don't mind. I'm quite enjoying this, aren't you? Yeah. And get a wave going. You got any waves yet? No. I feel like I need to go more all out. Go on. No waves. No. <laughs> Cruising down the river at a leisurely pace. We've got our beers here and the sunset, the sun is setting over the palace in the distance. So you can kind of see all of the skyscrapers of Phnom Penh with a little bit of the uh, history and culture thrown in for the sunset. So yeah, really, really good views. Hello. 
So next up is the night market, which is conveniently just outside where we got the boat. If you don't know, Abby's gluten free. Every time I talk about food, I say that. Um, and we're looking for some very specific, what are they called? Either the chive cakes or the or the coconut pancakes. And Abby's been craving them all day, even in the first market. And they just don't have any here. Every store's like the same to be honest, aren't they? Yeah. Like they've got the same menus, um, all the same price. Don't get me wrong, like it looks it looks like it looks like nice food, like got like noodles, stir fried rice and like meat on a skewer and that. But yeah, it's it's quite underwhelming compared to some other markets we've been to for sure. Hello, uh, can I get uh, just one scoop of chocolate, please? We've decided to go for some homemade coconut ice cream, which looks quite snazzy, doesn't it? Yeah. Get, get a couple of scoops and share it, maybe. Keep us going. A little bit then. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Oh, try it. Oh. No, it's um, dragon fruit. Ow. Oh, yes, please. Pass me that, please. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's good. Oh, yes, please. Pass me that. Oh, yes, please. Pass me that. Yeah, go on then. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Arkin. Well, that was unusual. We got so many different toppings on there, like dragon fruit, peanuts, rice, chocolate, condensed milk. I'll just try it all, go on then. It's only $1.25 and you get a free um, glass of coconut water if you wanted to, but we don't want any. I feel like we're now gonna struggle to spend the rest of our money, surprisingly. But we'll see what happens after we've eaten this. Take your shoes off and then you sit on these mats that are just on the floor, which is very unusual. We've not seen that in a night market before. Just gotta keep an eye on our expensive trainers. <laughs> it is actually really good. It's like chocolatey rice with a crunch from the sprinkles, a crunch from the peanuts, and then a bit of fruit mixed in there. So we've decided to finish our day in typical backpacker fashion. Rooftop bar, got a few drinks, got a load of french fries. We're quite full after the ice cream and lunch earlier. So we've got a few dollars changed, so we might grab another drink afterwards. But anyway, if you would have asked me after lunch, do you think you can do non-pen with $20? I would have said no. But it turns out you can after the evening, but don't get me wrong. It seems like Cambodia is a little bit more expensive than some of the other uh, countries around here, like Vietnam, Laos, and even Thailand. But anyway, that's us tonight. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and make sure you come back for our next video.